Today, we start by breaking down photo grills of the most underrated tennis legend, Carla. But before we begin, I want to tell why as a tennis player or any athlete, you should put more emphasis on photo. This is because it's a fundamental aspect of a sport or tennis in this case, as it enables you as a tennis player to maintain balance, generate power and quick movements around the court to reach effective shots. For Carla Suarez Navarro, she understands that having strong foot talk skills is essential for her foot talk to compete at the highest level. So let's not forget about uh, the problem of having poor foot talk like getting cramped. So one thing that Carla Suarez Navarro utilizes well is the bungee cord drill for a lateral movement. This exercise needs to, uh, to attach a bungee cord at a wrist, uh, at a waist, sorry, while performing side-to-side -side movements. The resistance provided by the bungee cord challenges her muscles and forces her to exert more effort, thus strengthening her lateral movement abilities. By practicing this drill regularly, uh, regularly she enhances her ability to quick change direction during matches. Color Suarez Navarro also implies extreme off-court intervals into her drill session. These intervals involve performing intense exercises such as sprints, plyometric, and agility drills. She does them away from the tennis court. When pushing herself to these limits in this off-court session, she uh, is mostly dif differently building the stamina, endurance, and explosiveness required for long matches. The good thing about these extreme intervals is they enhance her mental toughness and resilience, preparing her to handle high pressure situations during competitive matches. So after building stamina, she also needs to, to uh, her quick to be fit. So she does uh, some shuffle intervals. These drills involve moving side to side in a shuffling motion. Her aim is to mimic lateral movement required in a tennis court. Another thing she has is challenging drills, she has uh, reflex drills. This benefits of these drills is they focus on improving reaction time and hand-eye coordination. By incorporating these drills, uh, uh, you enable her to anticipate her opponent's shots better, react swiftly, and position herself at the place to execute effective shots. The cool thing about, she, about this foot talk, she does sprint intervals. These intervals involve short bursts of maximum effort sprints aim to mimic quick bursts in tennis court. Now we need to get our mind out the background. So despite her relatively small structure, she possesses a remarkable ability to hit powerful 100 backhand. Many people like me, I admire her stroke. As not many women in the sport can execute a strong 100 with such finesse. Carla's backhand is a statement to the fact the power in tennis is generated more through the kinetic chain rather than sheer muscle strength. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, you get that right. One thing that struck me on Carlos Navarro's one back hand is her grip, which is slightly more extreme com compared to most of other players who proficient uh, one handers. This grip uh, necessitates, necessitates, sorry a slightly higher degree of upper body rotation. While this grip might not be one, uh, not be the one I will personally teach, it works effectively to her, for her, especially considering her smaller frame and the physically higher trajectory of the balls in her strike zone. So in addition to her grip, what color Suarez Navarro effectively utilizes is her body to generate power on her on the backhand. She, is, she has mastered the importance of mass transferring energy to the kinetic chain, starting from her legs and moving upward to her hips, torso, and eventually to her arms. So what is the advantage of incorporating her entire body in a, into a stroke? She will maximize the, her power potential, potential and maintain a smooth and full swing. You know, color top spin version of one backhand is and has and was widely regarded as one of the best shot. With this stroke, she employs a signature of fully fly follow-through, 
uh, is situating her top spin technique. What can I say? Is she has mastered the art of generating top spin, utilizing the upward brushing motion of the racket string and, and the back of the ball to impact a significant sp spin, which employs, enhances control and consistency. For her to exquit successful one backhand, you can notice Carla Navarro exhibit exceptional timing and footwork. She positions herself well behind the ball. This allows her to generate sufficient power and maintain balance throughout the shot. Her strength training is one of my favorites. And by the end of this part, you'll agree with me. Some, most of her workers are designed to add power and mostly injury prevention. Now let me explain this. Her first work, which is stand-up arm pulls by flywheel training. Kala uses flywheel training as an excellent way to develop her upper body strength and explosive power. So the sole purpose of this exercise is to target the muscles in Kala's Shores Navarro's arms, shoulder and back. The good part is when strengthening these muscles, she improves her ability to generate racket speed and hit powerful shots on the tennis court. The resistance provided by flywheel here helps enhance muscles activation, coordination and stability to certainly improve performance during matches. So still on arm workers, she does lateral arm pulls with the resistance of flywheel training. This cool workout focuses on strengthening Carla's Chore's shoulder muscles. These muscles are crucial for stabilizing the shoulder joint and preventing injuries during tense movement on a tennis court or long rallies. What are more what are some more, more about is that in about this exercise is that color will enhance her shoulder stability, which is essential for squeezing accurate and powerful shots, specifically during serve and ground strokes. And I bet you to try this, to try them. And this uh, one, and this, and we are still on the still on the upper body, so she includes some shoulder poles, which seems which you can see them as a very effective strength excess that help color Suarez Navarro to build strength in her upper back and shoulder muscles. This exercise will mostly likely enhance her posture and stability, allow her to maintain a balanced and bold position which, while executing shots. Uh, as we both know, strong shoulders also contribute to better racket control and reduce the risk of shoulder related injuries, which are common in tennis players. To tennis players. Now, now let's put our focus on these leg curls. So why this exercise? It's because they are proven to be beneficial for color choreos as they target the muscles in the hamstrings, which are more crucial for generating power and stability in our lower body. Strong hamstrings provide a solid foundation for uh, explosive movements such as sprints, challenging direction on the court and executing powerful shots. Um, if you can really remember the term leg drive when it comes to ground stocks, you know what I'm talking about. So leg curls also help preventing, to prevent sorry, muscle imbalances between quad ribs and hamstrings reducing uh, the risk of lower body injuries. So to further put a strength on, on, those, on those muscles, she has uh, one piece of this, this kind of this exercise called one leg squats for that. For that. To our understanding, these are the excellent exercise for color to raise. So to improve her lower body strength, balance and stability. This exercise focus on on the quad ribs, hamstrings, and glutes. And not forgetting the core muscles, all of which play a significant role in generating power during movement of the tennis court. Aha, just the same stuff here, pal. Everything, it has some um, relation. So if uh, she is performing one leg squats, Carla, without a doubt, she's strengthening 
her leg muscles and improve her ability to, to maintain the balance while moving dynamically during matches. One thing I like is the, this workout called the weight pulse, the waist pulse. Using flywheel training, which is I really think will help color Suarez Navarro strengthen her core muscles, including the abdominals and obliques, because she is using a lot of strength to pull her back, back herself her back and forth. Those strong calls will provide stability and transfer powerful power, sorry, efficiently between the upper and the lower board. This strength excess improves color rotational stability and enables her to generate rotational power during shots like forehand and backhand. They'll be just effortlessly. There's one leg workout she does, which is called the leg fly. Uh, leg lying with uh, fly, leg lying, leg fly pull, which I really think that is the excess that targets uh, shores glutes, hamstrings, and lower back muscles. These exercises are designed to assist Carla to generate power in her lower back, lower body, providing stability during movement and preventing any injuries. Also in this exercise, you will see her using stability on bosu ball and yoga ball. Carla should uh, uh, incorporate this stability exercise in improving her balance, core strength, and overall stability, and also it stabilizing her lower body most specifically her knee. This exercise, uh, this exercise are perfect to challenge her body to maintain balance while performing various movements, replicating the dynamic nature of tennis. When she improves her stability, which is better transferred into better footwork, body control, and injury prevention on the tennis court. So one last thing she strengthens is her abs is by doing some rigorous ab roller exercises just to repeat or put more emphasis, a strong core is essential for color to raise Navarro performance as it provides stable base for generating power, transferring force, and maintaining balance during tennis movement. The ab roller is a quick way to target the abdominal muscles, lower back, and obliques, enhancing her core strength and stability. Let's talk about her forehand. Despite her height, she possesses a compact swing that is reminiscent of players on the men's tour. This style of swing proves to be highly effective as the most of the power of the groundswork is generated through the body rather than relying solely on her arm strength. The legend color showcases great proficiency on her forehand stroke. This can be attributed in a short, short compact swing which enables her to maintain control and generate power efficiently. And the reason of that is to moderate grip. The moderate grip she employs on her forehand further contributes to her consistency and accuracy. Color show race really excels at utilizing her leg and upper body rotation. To maximize the power of her forehand shots, she displays exceptional leg right, allowing her to transfer energy from her lower body into us. So, this combined with rotation of her upper body creates a strong kinetic chain that has a significant force uh, to her shoulders. In many ways, in my opinion, her technique is reminiscent of tennis legend Roger Federer, who uh, also relies on precise footwork and upper body rotation to generate power. One of the color's strength lies in ability to take the ball early and apply pressure on her opponents. A short compact swing allows her to make contact with the ball sooner, denying her opponents to react, to react. By taking the ball early, Carla can dedicate the pace, the pace and direction of the rally, effectively putting her opponents on the defensive. So when it comes to her serve, we all know all tall player, players like Ivo Kavovic or Venus Williams who are well known for their powerful serves. But for Carla has developed a unique service technique that maximizes her potential to hit the ball with force and precision. One of the key aspects of her serve is the way she gears her motion towards gaining height when striking the ball. You and I, we all know that most pro players tend 
move downward before the upward swing. But now for Carla, she defies convection by lifting herself directly from the bolter, the bolters. This approach allows her to generate an upward trajectory, enabling her to hit the ball at a higher point. As she reaches the optimal position to strike the ball, Carla's entire body strains upward, facilitating the extension, extension and enabling her to capitalize on her height limitation. Carla's height first half, sorry, is particularly impressive considering summer of her stature. For years, she has developed a serve that processes power and accuracy, allow her to gain an advantage in points. However, the second serve still presents some changes, challenges and occasionally gets into troubles. Carla typically utilizes a top spin slice on a second serve, which may not be the most stable choice for someone of a height. Perhaps if she were to develop a well executed quick serve, she would minimize the number of double faults and enhance her second serve effectiveness. Nevertheless, a squeezing quick kick serve will be as essential as balls hit from a height will bounce into opponent's wheelhouse, potentially giving them an advantageous position. Well, despite the potential risk involved, Carla demonstrated great courage and determination in her serve. Even when facing a breakpoint, she prefers to hit the second serve with power, even at the risk of double fault.